Chris Jericho that? extending his commitment. Should I mute you during this this news about Chris Jericho? Because it, it's usually like a trigger for you. And you've Go already ahead. turned pretty red Go today, ahead. so. Go ahead. Chris Jericho is extending his commitment with AEW. It was announced via Variety Day. A 51-year-old had signed a three-year contract extension, which takes his deal through December of 2025. He would be almost 55, I believe, at that time. But I'm not very good at math, so I could have that wrong. Like the extension recently signed by John Moxley, Jericho will take on new duties in addition to his in-ring role. Jericho will now be a producer and creative advisor for AEW. And he will continue to mentor young talent. Jericho spoke to Variety about his decision to sign an extension. I guess the simple answer, he said, is why not? Things have been going so well in the company. I really do feel this is my company. It is tattooed on my heart, so to speak. I have been here since day one. There's really no reason not to be here continuing forward. When AW first started... I think basically it was Chris Jericho and a group of very talented people that might not have been as well known. Within three months, that changed. Now, within three years, we've got at least a dozen, maybe two dozen of our own homegrown stars that came into their own on AEW television. Tony Khan also issued a statement. said Chris Jericho long ago cemented his legacy as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. Fortunate to have his skills, charisma, knowledge, and insight in AEW for years to come. Chris discovered a fountain of youth this year. He is having some of the very best best matches of his legendary career against some of the top names in wrestling. In expanding responsibilities, he'll continue to serve as a valuable leader with our roster, having the opportunity to utilize one of the most creative minds in the history of wrestling. Talks about his Ring of Honor championship, the eighth world title he has had in his career. And he also but, adds, yes, yes, Mike? No, nothing. No, go ahead. Bigger belt mark than you. I think he booked himself as the Ring of Honor champion, or do you think that maybe the promoter booked him as the champion because he saw the value in him as the champion of the organization? I don't know. I know Chris Jericho says that he is pretty much walking around unfettered right now when it comes to creative in that company. So who knows what could take place? I don't know. I'm not on the payroll, though. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, you know, I'm not on the payroll either, Mike, but uh, I can tell you this. A new weekly Ring of Honor television series looks closer to becoming a reality. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, published on Tuesday, Tony Khan stated that there will soon be, quote, great news about weekly Ring of Honor shows. Khan said there will be one more Ring of Honor pay-per-view before the end of the year, and Ring of Honor plans to follow that up with a weekly show in 2023. We'll have great news soon about Ring of Honor weekly shows. The success of Death Before Dishonor on pay-per-view has ensured there will be more Ring of Honor pay-per-views. Our goal is to have one more great pay-per-view for Ring of Honor in 2022 and then follow that up with a weekly show in 2023. And then he puts over Chris Jericho. Says, I'm a huge fan of Chris Jericho. I followed his career for over 27 years. I believe he's putting forth one of the greatest years of his career this year, he said. He is one of the biggest stars in pro wrestling, and he is incredibly valuable for AW. I would say that that is a true statement, Mike. I would say it is too, Brian. Oh, and nice. the right person to have the ROH title right now is Chris Jericho because you are trying to get a television deal for that company. So his victory, him having that title, with all of the things that he has done outside the ring, his name does carry weight to it with the books with the appearances on tv the voiceover work all that sort of stuff he has embedded himself in nicely into the entertainment industry where i'm sure people at warner brothers discovery know who he is as well as people outside of warner brothers discovery knowing who he is so he and him having being the face of that company or being the face of that product is great now will they get a television deal in 2023 i don't know I don't know if this ends up being a streaming thing and a platform that maybe is help, helps is facilitated by Warner Brothers Discovery or something like that. But I'm still not sure if they're going to get a TV deal. And I don't think it's the worst idea in the world if they don't. 
as long as they have something, you know, rebuild an honor club, rebuild a base to get things back up. Because at the very least, you know, with the right promotion and w- w- with what you can do with AEW TV, those ROH quarterly pay-per-views or, how, or however you want to run them, they're going to be successful. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me, <laughs> you make me mad. I I guess seeing seeing you guys. When you week. needle me. Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm-hmm. Huh? Eh, forget okay. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.